Well, today is uh, an important day uh, because the government has announced the availability of a couple of important vaccines, Scorbivax by Biological E and Covovax by the Serum Institute of India as being cleared for use for those above the age of 18. But very significantly, they've also announced the availability of an anti-COVID drug. It's called Molnupiravir by Merck, which designed the drug. But in India, it's going to be manufactured by more than a dozen companies. India is a world leader in manufacturing generic drugs. The name will be different. But one of the companies which is manufacturing a, a generic variant of Molnupiravir is Optimus Pharma Private Limited. We are very privileged to be joined by Dr. D. Srinivasan Srinivas Reddy, who is the CMD of Optimus Pharma. Thanks very much, sir, for being with us. Uh, congratulations. It's, it's, you know, I mean, you are going to be producing one of the weapons which we need. First question, how soon will you be able to roll it out in numbers for India? Yeah, in the next uh, five days, uh, we can able to uh, available the product available in the market across the India. Oh, that's that's great to know. In five, five days, days. Uh, you'll be able to roll it out across India. So, how many doses have you already manufactured? Yeah, we are targeting to manufacture forty million uh, capsules per month. So, which is equal into you know ten lakh doses. And how many have you manufactured so far, which will be rolled out? Yeah, so far we manufactured close to 20 million right. uh, for export markets. And uh, now we recently received the approval. So we started gearing up 40 million capsules per month. So, uh, sorry, just correct me again. In, in a week's time, did you say you'll be able to roll it out in India? No, week's time we can able to launch 10 million uh, capsules. For the Indian market? Yeah, Indian market. Okay, so, 10 million capsules for the Indian market in approximately a week and and, uh, and simultaneously you will be stepping up. Production. Simultaneously we are generating and uh, within a month we can able to roll out uh, 40,000, uh, uh, 40 million capsules which is uh, 4 crore tablets, uh, 4 right. crore capsules. What is the cost of the course? Yeah, per course uh, uh, roughly about 2,500 rupees to 2,600 rupees is the course. And of, that course, correct tablets. me if I am wrong, is 40 pills, right? Over 5 days? 40 pills, yeah. So, uh, so eight pills a day, four in the morning, four in the uh, in the second half. In of the day. evening, yeah, for right. five days. Will you be able to bring the cost down below two thousand five hundred to to, to uh, two thousand six hundred rupees? Yes, yes, we are working out because this is just launch. Uh, so as of now, we fix uh, the price like this, but we are continuously working and uh, to reduce this cost further to reach each and every common man of uh, India and. Uh, so the WHO, the sir, was trying to bring this cost down to a few hundred rupees. Is that realistic for you, you know, in, uh, in the future? Yeah, I think uh, today it is uh, 2,500 rupees and uh, there is a probability to come to cut down the cost. I think w with the WHO, we are also working how to reduce the cost further. And we are working on this and in future, definitely it is possible to come uh, definitely below this cost. So, sir, the worry is that Merck in its latest study had said efficacy is down to 30 percent. Uh, it was yeah. much more earlier on. 30 yes. percent is not very encouraging. Yes, yes. So, if you look at uh, the currently available uh, solid orals, you don't have any solid orals which even can uh, reduce the viral load, uh, the hospitalization rate, uh, even up to 30 percent. So that is why this is a definitely a, a better option than what uh, currently available options. Would you uh, in your company also be looking at Paxlovid, which is the Pfizer drug? Yes, yes. We are uh, uh, working on the Paxlovid as well. Uh, I see. We are expecting another uh, four to five months. Four to five to months? Four to five four months? Four to five months to available. Yeah. Four to five months to start manufacture of Paxlovid in a generic of variant? Paxlovid generic. Uh, and you've already entered into conversations with uh, with Pfizer. Pfizer. And would it uh, would the cost more or less match? Uh, no, Paxlovid is definitely uh, three to four times higher than uh, uh. Molnupiravir because of the complexity of the uh, product and the expensive structure, and it is a combination of retinavir as well, which is already using for uh, uh, anti retrovirals. So a little under ten thousand rupees to start with. When it comes, five to six months later. Yeah, uh, I think I really cannot predict what sure. is the exact cost, but today, yeah, today is a very basic development stage, so I cannot comment on this. Right. Let's talk about Molnupiravir. Firstly, uh, in your company, Optimus Pharma, what are you calling it in India? Yeah, we are uh, calling as uh, Molcovit. 
uh, is our brand name. Molkovid, did you say? Molkovid, yeah. Molkovid, okay. All right. Uh, and um, at what stage does a patient uh, take it? Yeah. Uh, this is to be administered only when he has become a positive, COVID positive. So the moment he becomes a COVID positive, so this is uh, mainly administered for the mild to moderate COVID patients. Aha. Uh -huh. So that uh, it is a really good product for the home quarantine people. So immediately when they get positive, uh, better we start in the as early as possible for five days course. But uh, when we conducted a clinical uh, studies for the 1,218 patients, uh, we have seen a clear variation of standard care and molnopiravir uh, treated uh, patients. Uh, in the first two, five days after the completion of the course, uh, when we check the RT-PCR, uh, almost 75% become a negative. Uh, where is in the standard care, it is a 46%. And so what was the trial the size in India, sir? Uh, 1,218 patients. Sorry, how many, sir? Uh, 1,218. 1,218. Oh, one, one, so, that's a reasonable number, sir. That's a reasonably big big number of subjects. And 1,218 only for your company or is it uh, all-inclusive? Only for our company? company. Yeah, only for our company. But one, apart two, from eight. us, there is another five trials now which is conducted. So this is very interesting, sir. In 1,000 yeah. plus trial cases yes. in India, uh, those who were tested positive and had uh, the generic brand, generic version of yes. Monopiravir, within yes. five days, they were turning yeah. COVID negative, as opposed yes. to those who were taking more time, is that right? To yes. become yes. normal, to become negative. Yes, yes. And what was the time taken, generally speaking, among those who tested positive and who did not have the drug? Yeah, I think uh, the, the standard care, uh, after two weeks, uh, close to 14 days, after 14 days, so they become a, uh, they turn to be uh, uh, negative. Uh, and some some cases, they took a very long time, like 28 days is also. Oh, I few see. cases, we observed that, yeah. So that's really, that that's quite impressive. Yes. What are, uh, when can a patient not take the drug? Yeah, uh, as of now, uh, DCGA is very clearly mentioned that, uh, you know, the 18 years and below should not uh, take this uh, medicine, but still we don't have the safety data for uh, mitogenicity. So, and uh, apart from that, uh, pregnant women uh, should not administer this drug. Right. Are there any other groups which should not have the medication? Uh, uh, very old uh, because the disease is progression and uh, hospitalized patients, this cannot be uh, suggested. Right? And so this is not an over-the-counter drug, it has to be prescribed. No, right? this is not the over-counter drug and this purely prescription again, according to the prescription and uh, uh, restricted uh, emergency use. Restricted emergency use. Yes. And when we say eight tablets, uh, uh, how frequently does one have to take the course of medicines? Yeah, it is like uh, every 12 hours, uh, 800 mg, the four capsules uh, in the morning and uh, four capsules in the evening, just one hour before uh, lunch or uh, Right. Dinner. And do you have to eat before Breakfast having the first capsule? No, sir. Do you need to have ha consume some food before having the first capsule or can you no. have it on an empty stomach? No, 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 no. With empty stomach and after that, after one hour, uh, right. take anything. Sir, one think... hour, we should not eat. So I think I've asked you pretty much everything there is. Is there anything yeah. else, that Dr. Reddy, that you would like to, to tell us? Because this is very exciting. Uh, yeah. You know, news I is think the first uh, step. Yeah, we, till recent today, uh, it's very quiet. But, you uh, know, Omicron cases are going up. We feel that I think the right time, the DCGI has taken a decision to launch this uh, right. uh, solid oral. This will help India to face the current crisis, we feel. And one final question, when you say in one week the initial lot of 10 million doses will be out, how fast is your distribution network? Is it going to be just to the big cities or where all will it be distributed? Yeah, as of now, we have a good network in the big cities, uh, tier 1 cities. So it will be distributed within overnight. Uh, within, oh, okay, right. So within overnight itself, it can be distributed. Yes. So you've got, you've got yeah, the infrastructure to be able to do that. Yes. yes. Right, sir. Well, the, it's it's a huge step, sir, and, and all the very best. Uh, yeah, and thank, thank you. you so much for your contribution you, in helping us fight the scourge. Thank you so much indeed. Thanks.